so excited that you can join me as I get ready. I have nothing on my face. I still have to fix my hair. Got a little dry shampoo in there. Woo, look at that white balance. Go to town right there. <laughs> Feel free to leave the hashtag replay below since you're watching this on replay. And also, I want to know what your plans are for New Year's Eve because everyone has such different plans and I always get so excited. It's a great way to start off the new year. Whether your plans are to stay home in your pajamas and watch some movies or be with the loved ones that you have, um, really, Whatever your plans are, I want to know about them, so please put them in the comments below. I'm going to quickly share this, so hold on just one second. Right. <coughs> do, do, do. Putting that on my timeline, just sharing this, because sharing is caring. And speaking of sharing, please always feel free to share my videos um, on your page, if you'd ever like to do that so that your friends can see these little tips and tricks. All right, so once again, let me know what you're doing New Year's Eve, and I'll let you know a little bit about my plans while I get ready. So I'm gonna do a fun look. I asked my friends and family and my VIP group um, to vote on a look for New Year's Eve, and this look won. Let me see if I can pull it up for you. Let me see if I can pull it on up for you. It is gonna be a nice, fun, bold, red lip and let's see if I can pull it up come on baby come on baby fun bold lips so I asked I sent four different photos and I asked people hi Arwen um, I asked people to vote which one was their favorite their second favorite I did yesterday and the top favorite was hopefully I could show you the bottom one D with the red lip and uh, some bold bold eyes so letter D that bottom one right there so that is what we're going for today hi Kristen how you doing is it Chris is it Kristen is it just Kristen like how you would say Kristen with a K but is it that way am I saying your name correctly I want to make sure I'm always saying it correctly uh, plans are to rewrite your notes for school watching TV and talk to my boyfriend that is good plans Rewriting notes for school, I needed to do that all too frequently because I, I don't know, when I write quickly at school, Kristen, so I'm saying it right, yay, good. Um, when I used to write notes at school, I have terrible handwriting when I'm doing things quickly and so it was just a hot mess. And so I always had to either rewrite my notes or I would like type up my notes. Oh, it's for German. Oh, then you definitely need to. You gotta drill it into your brain, right? Drill it into your brain. So, what? So you got that going on for tonight. So you're gonna talk with your boyfriend. That's good. My plans, Malvina. Blake and I are going to be seeing a show. We're going to the theater. We're going to the theater tonight. Um, we're going to see Love Never Dies. It's the sequel to Phantom of the Opera. Um, so it's still written by Andrew Lloyd Webber, and it is about what happens after. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe like 10 years after The Phantom of the Opera takes place on Coney Island, and it should be great. The Phantom of the Opera is Blake's favorite show. So this is one of his uh, Christmas presents that I got him to go see this show. And we're really excited because it's not a matinee, it's like a 6.30 showing, but um, it means that we'll be home by like 10.30 by, things, by the time things get a little crazy on the roads. So uh, I'm pretty excited to be home and get my PJs. I'll bring in the new year at home. Yeah, it's so good, right? So how many of you are freezing? That's part of the reason I'm really excited that we're gonna be going to a show. I'm putting on my lip exfoliator. I just put on my primer, which has a few more uses left. This thing lasts forever. Um, I'm putting on my lip exfoliator because it's been so cold and so dry that my lips are super, super tapped. Hi, Lottie, how you doing? I, thank you, Malvina. I'm really, really excited. It's gonna be a great show. Um, we've got a fantastic theater in Providence that just brings about some of the best shows out there. Hi Peg, how are you feeling? You want to swim in cold water, Aaron? Why? Oh, you mean like tomorrow for a polar plunge? I am not a polar plunger, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> I am not about that. My friend Ben DeCastro, he co-hosts Wicked Roadie with me, which is our Rhode Island based podcast, all like fun things. And he mentioned a bunch of the polar plunges that are taking place in Rhode Island, in and around Rhode Island. And I was like, God bless you. God bless you. I think some in New Jersey ended up getting canceled. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? 
So because it is so dry, it's crazy dry outside with all the snow and this Arctic chill, I am, I put on primer already and I'm going to be doing a little mix of BB cream with some concealer. So the BB cream is our hydrating, day, uh, hydrating uh, foundation. I recommend it for those of you who have a lot of fine lines that sometimes you find to be difficult with regular makeup. Um, but to, it has light coverage. So you see how I have lots of freckles and all this all this stuff going on? When you want fuller coverage but still a lot of moisture from that BB cream because it's beautifully hydrating, it's got all this good stuff, I actually mix a little bit of our Skin Perfecting Concealer into it. So I put BB cream and then I added some concealer to it. Now I'm just gonna smudge it with my finger to make the BB cream more fuller coverage. Doing great, just relaxing for New Year's three hours to midnight. I can't even believe it. That's crazy. So I'm just gonna take my finger with this little mix of BB cream and concealer, once again, to get fuller coverage, to help mimic that look, the winning look. Yay, you love it. What do you love? What do you love, Diana? Tell me, tell me what you love, my friend. I need to know. But this is, as I said, it's a great way to get more full coverage, but still have that hydrating feel to your skin. So I'm just gonna kinda use my fingers a little bit to blend that around. Now I mixed it with Velour, which is why it has a bit more of like a yellowy tint to it. Velour is one of the more light colors that has more of like a yellow undertone. And as you see on my face, I have a lot of like pink in my face, but then my neck gets more like yellow. So this helps kind of cancel that out and gives it an even, um, an even look, an even look. Cause that's what foundation is really all about. It is about giving your skin a good foundation, giving you a good primed canvas almost to set you up for success. So I, when I do my BB cream, and concealer like this. I like to use a damp blending bud. Oh, thanks Arwen. So just a damp blending bud to help blend this all in. Um, the dampness helps so that the sponge doesn't pick up all the makeup you just put on, but it also helps make your makeup be applied super evenly, picks up what you don't need and then just deposits it elsewhere. And I'm also putting this on my eyes to help my eyes really set up for success because I have a lot of, you can see I have a lot of like veins and freckles on my eyes. And then by going on with this little medley, look at that, right? Look at all that that I just got rid of. Pretty dang amazing. It's just a little damp blending bun. So I know some of you who are watching have already purchased the BB cream through me and also concealer. So think about doing this when you do, when you need a little bit more full coverage. If it's a big night, like it is tonight, New Year's Eve, and I'm just blending it out. And the great thing, as I said, I'm using Velour Concealer because that really kind of helps like match my skin. And I'm gonna brighten with another concealer. Hi, Tara Noel. See, see how flawless already and yet still dewy. Still dewy, and that's the look I'm going for. Delicate skin. So I'm gonna go back in with that Velour Concealer and I'm just going to kind of spot treat <clears throat> the areas that are a little wonky for me. So my age spots. <laughs> Basically, our Skin Perfecting Concealer can help erase your age spots, deep, deep dark freckles, uh, scars that you might have. So I always have like a spot right here. I wear glasses most of the time. So I always have like these dark spots right there that I always wanna cover up and then just use a little bit under my eyes. That little tube of concealer will honestly last you a year. Thank you so much. You too. What are you doing tonight, Tara Noel? And is that your name? Like Tara Noel, is, is like that just your one first full name? Because if so, it is beautiful. I love the name Noel. Um, and I also love the name Tara, but I've never seen it before you as a little, as a little mix. So it's really, really pretty. So I'm just using my ring finger right now. Oh yes, you're in a... I need another coffee. I need another coffee. Have fun tonight. Have so much fun. And you be safe as well. Be safe. Hi Paula with your bold red lip. I see that new profile picture coming up. I'm loving it. 
So I'm particularly careful. I've just gotten really dry right around here. Um, so I'm just being really careful with making sure that I'm using that damp blending bud today. All about the dry. I love it. I love it, Tara Noel. I really do. It is beautiful. Beautiful name. Stay close and tight and love. That's all you need. All you need is love. The Beatles were right. Oh, great. Elizabeth, look at this. Two people with Noel. I love it. It's really, it is. It's such a beautiful name. All right, so as you can see, when I started off, I had a lot of freckles showing, a lot of dark age spots. And by doing that little medley of the BB cream and the concealer, I now have a pretty blank canvas to work with. I still have that glasses spot. Any of you who wear glasses end up getting these like spots right there, and I'll get rid of that freckle. You all know I love my freckles, but to mimic this look right today, I need to get rid of most of them. Really need to create quite a flawless canvas. So I'm just going in with that concealer. Honestly, this can get rid of, um, it can cover up tattoos. People have used Sharpie marker on their face. So if you have age spots, you have acne issues, scarring, I'm telling you, this Skin Perfecting Concealer. It's a dream. It is a dream. Hi, Maggie. So how did you come up with the name Arwen, Arwen, then? Do you like that? My real name is Mary. <laughs> That's all I am. Tonight we are going to P-Pack, Maggie. We're going to go to P-Pack and see the sequel to The Phantom of the Opera, um, Love Never Dies. How about you guys? What are you doing? So now I'm going in with our lightest concealer. It's Scarlet. And I'm going to brighten under my eyes. And you might be like, hold on, you just used two different concealers? I did. I did. Because when you are trying to match your age spot, when you're trying to cover age spots or acne, you want it to be the same color as your skin. And then when you are trying to brighten under your eyes, like I'm doing right here, to bring attention to your eyes, to also help cover the dark circles under there, you want to use a lighter shade to really help make that part of your face, those cheekbones pop out. Oh, yay, I'm happy you're staying home with the munchies. We have in the past stayed home with the kids, um, but I need to get out of this house, Maggie. <laughs> you have cabin fever, like you wouldn't believe. Hi, Tracy. What are you guys doing tonight? Oh, I love it. Yeah, Phantom's going to be so much fun. So see what that did? So see how by using the lighter concealer, it just looks a bit brighter. And I'm just going to do that on the other side. Almost like put it back. Here we go. Oh, hi, Ava. Hi, honey. Happy New Year, Ava. Yay. Oh, I love it. So I'm just going to blend again that Scarlet Concealer. So what I did, Maggie, is I actually mixed BB cream with a little bit of concealer to give myself fuller coverage all over for my face because my skin... You, be, Oh, don't do that. You're going to break it, lovey. I'm not. The boys are watching football, but Reese is currently jumping in a hamper. A <laughs> mesh hamper. Hey, Blake, can you get him to stop that? I just don't want him to get hurt. Poor little thing. Having way too much fun. But that's what you're supposed to do on school break. Right? It is so cold, Paula. It's so cold. We are going to the cousins to hang out with the kids and play Wii. Oh my gosh, I haven't heard about Wii in so long. I used to have a Wii. I used to, like, love playing the Wii. Granted, I was a full-fledged adult, but when I had it. But I loved playing the Wii. Now I'm going to go in with the Behold Setting Powder. This is what's going to help really get rid of the under-eye bags. And it sets the concealer for epic success. So I'm just taking my powder concealer brush, favorite brush, and I'm just going to lightly dust it right where I put the concealer. My kids go back to school Wednesday. Wednesday. Whoop, and I'm just painting on right where I put the concealer. So this translucent setting powder is fantastic for those of you who might have oily skin. For those of you who might have um, fine lines that you find your makeup might settle into, you just kind of dust this onto your makeup and it really helps create that barrier and also acts as like a diffusing filter 
It's like Photoshop. See how nice that is? We are full-fledged adults. You no way you become competitive at Wii Tennis and Bowling. I love that, Tracy. We played this game um, last night, Blake and I and two other friends, called Watch Your Mouth. Have you heard of Watch Your Mouth? It is this hysterical game where you put mouth guards in your mouth and <laughs> you have to say these phrases like on a card, kind of like taboo. Um, but it could be like, you know, I love to eat pineapple or something, but you have to do it with these mouth guards. So it's like, I to eat pineapple. And they have to guess what you're saying, right? It's such a fun game, such a fun game. So there you go, there's the translucent setting powder. Super nice. And then I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with our pressed powder. Um, I'm, now because I have so much other foundation on my face, I don't need to do too much. This is just going to set it so that it really is long lasting, super full coverage because this is the look I'm going after. As I said, this was the most voted look from the, the looks that I'd posted. It's a bold red lip, fun, simple eye, big, big lashes, perfect for holiday glam. But to have your lips pop, to have your eyes pop, you really need to make sure that you have a flawless face because you don't want it to be distracted by acne or age spots or anything like that. If you have this BB cream, I need the same shade concealer for blemishes, right? I only have scarlet. So you know what you could do, Maggie? Um, you could mix a little bit of that scarlet in there and let me know if it comes out too light for you. Mix a little bit of scarlet and like try it around here and see see how it works. And that's if you need fuller coverage, once again. Like if, if you wanted to get a blank canvas like this, try it. You might be more organza or velour um, to truly get this kind of coverage. We'll have to try you out. You come on over, come on over. We'll have a mess, we'll have a concealer party. Doesn't that sound fun? It sounds fun to me. Part of the other reason that I like to set my face with powder is because when I'm doing my makeup quickly, quickly, let's be real, I'm doing full out glam today, um, I don't like to put powder on my face, bronzer, blush, anything like that before it's really set. Hi Denise. So because BB cream has such a dewy finish, I don't like to then go straight in with a powder blush right away because it just kind of sticks to it. So you need to either let it set a little bit or you might want to get like a bonbon and use that as a blush if you're doing things really quickly. But if you set it with a powder, then you can go in with some powders very quickly after. Hopefully that makes sense. But you don't want to just go straight in with, um, with powder right away. You don't want it to get too muddy. So yeah, Maggie, I would just try a little bit. Oh, and Denise, you might like the tip that I did too. So I actually mixed my BB cream with some concealer that matched my skin to create full coverage, yet super hydrating makeup foundation. Oh, Tanya, thank you. I'm just starting, Tanya. I just have my foundation on. And now I'm going in with this color Chenille. It's a pressed powder. So on my site, if you get two pressed powders, there's like this pressed powder set. And you save money when you get like the two of them at the same time. Um, and if you ever are finding that you wanna buy multiple lip colors, um, or as I said, you know, two BB creams or two pressed powders, let me know because I do, I have sets on my website where you get to have savings. So when people want to do a pressed powder, sometimes I say, listen, you might want to buy the two because you know you're going to be getting it eventually, you know, a refill, or you might want to get a shade like this one, Chanel, which you can contour with. So contouring takes that like blank canvas that I need with my face by having that full coverage um, foundation and now I'm going to add dimension back in. Now I'm going to add in shadows and I'm going to look a little crazy in the process. <laughs> but that's how you know you're contouring. If you look a little cray, if you look a little cray, you're definitely contouring. Ooh, that earring is loud, isn't it? So I'm just going around my face. So you can kind of like make a three or an E and then I go under my chin. I don't do around here. I don't want a beard. Okay. So I go under my chin. This helps if you are starting to have a little bit of some double chin action. 
just cover that up with some dark pressed powder. And then I mimic it down my neck, especially because I'm going to be wearing this shirt. I might even contour to make myself look a little thinner than I am. I feel like I haven't been eating Christmas cookies all week. So yeah, definitely contour your, your whole face. And this adds the shadows back in. It can help you if you're trying to look a little thinner, but also just adds dimension back in your face. Make sure you blend it into the hairline. Hi Donna, hi Ashley. Happy New Year's Eve. What are you guys doing tonight? What are you doing New Year's? Yeah, I feel a little guilty that I'm not home with my kids, but on the flip side, being a stay-at-home mom, I'm with them all the time. <laughs> so, I need to get out. I need to get out. Blake and I haven't had a date night in really, really long. So, well, hey Reese, why don't you come see what I dropped for me? Can you come look under here and see what mama yeah. dropped? Thank you. Can't. You can't? Look down there. Look down there. See what fell. Is there anything black down there? Yeah. <gasps> Thank you. Is there anything else? Keep looking. Use those eagle eyes. Got some head setting spray. No. Nope. No. Nope. All right. You found it all. High five, kiddo. Way to be. Want another high five? Nice. <laughs> all right. So that one's again with Chanel. Um, and now I'm going to do some blush. Got to get out, baby boy. Now I'm going to use this color Scandalous. Scandalous. These names, they are feisty. Makeup names are always feisty. Some, some are more feisty than others, I tell you what. There's been some makeup names where I'm like, wow. My mom would not buy that shade just because of its name. Party at a friend's house, don't feel guilty. They're at the perfect age where they don't even realize it's going on. I know, they don't. They don't. If they did, I'd be showing them that fake New Year's Day countdown. But they don't know what's going on. So Scandalous, just going to take a blusher brush, pop it on once. That much color because these are so highly pigmented. This is like the one, you're never going to need to buy this blush again. All right. So I'm going to do a little smile, get on the apples. And I'm holding lightly. And mind you, I'm going to look a little crazy at first because I still need to blend. But when it comes to full glam, I like to add in my color so you can see where I place everything and then I blend it out. But when you do your contouring and blush and highlighter, you want to think about it like Neapolitan ice cream. Chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. So you bronze and then you blush on top of the bronze and you highlight. So I used my concealer for a highlighter at first just to brighten that up. We could also use a regular highlighter but I like to use concealer because it's kind of like two in one. Look like a clown. <laughs> I promise it all works out. I like to add a little bit of blush up here just to add a little bit more color to my face. You ready? Y'all ready for this? Let's blend this out. And then after you blend, if you find that you do still want a little bit more color back in, you can easily just pop it back in. But, blend it all out, baby. I know, they're totally at the age where they don't know. They don't even know what today is. They don't know what tomorrow is. They don't even understand the calendar. You know, I mean, I think if we made a big deal out of it, if I think if we were like, yay, today's New Year's Eve, and we're seeing people, and we're doing things, then they'd be excited, but it's been a busy holiday season. Hi, Melissa. I don't know about you guys, but it has been a busy, busy holiday. So I am, I'm kind of set with it being a big deal for my kids right now. We'll make, we'll make New Year's a big deal for now at some point, but that is not today gonna go with that same big blush you're too scared to contour oh my gosh no you could totally contour I'm telling you if you're scared of it just practice like the three and E you can even practice just with like a bronzer um, and that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding some bronzer hi Allison when is your new year happening you must be there really close right how many more hours in Ireland I'm gonna enjoy Tanya, thank you. Christina, what are you and your family doing tonight? Just going in with a little bronzer. Darken on up. 
bronze down there. But see, see how it all worked out and it's like just enough color. That'll blend that out a little bit. Hi, Allison. We're having a party at your house this evening. Yay, totally, girlfriend. So I mixed um, my concealer with my foundation just to give more full coverage. <clears throat> totally copy. It's what, what I'm here for. I'm gonna add a pot more, that's scandalous. Less than four hours is what I was thinking. What I was thinking. Yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm all about the blush today. All about that blush. Because I'm all about that blush. Okay, so let's start working on the eyes. Less than four hours, I love it. So exciting. Well, happy new year, Alice, and I think you and Lottie are the first people to be getting the new years of those who've been, been tuning in today. So I'm really excited for you guys. Oh my God, Tanya, you could totally contour. Don't be afraid of contouring. Trust yourself. Trust yourself and just practice. Practice makes perfect with makeup, trust me. And that's why I always say, you wanna like go to the edge of crazy and then you can just blend. The edge of crazy. And by crazy, I mean you look like a clown, like how I look. So I'm going to put on some eye primer. So what does eye primer do? It helps the color stick and be more true. Um, now our new pressed shadows where you can make your own personalized quad have primer infused in them, but I still like to wear a little bit of primer. And honestly, just a little bit, just a smidge. Husband's making avocado taco dip. What does that even mean, Paula? Avocado taco dip. Oh, happy birthday, Christina. Oh my gosh, you're a New Year's baby? What time were you born? That's so exciting that you were a New Year's Day baby. I love that. That's so sweet. That's really, really awesome. So if I hadn't put concealer and foundation on my eyes, I would be going in with Victoria's Splurge Cream Shadow. It's just a nude base and it helps cover up. I talk frequently about how I do. You can see the veins, you can see the freckles in my eyes. And when I'm doing a a, a look that I really want to bring attention to my lashes especially. I want to make sure that the canvas is blank, that doesn't have the distraction of the veins and the freckles, so I frequently use Victorious. I accomplished that already with my concealer. Thank you, Peg. How are you feeling? Happy New Year to you, too. Hope you're feeling better, friend, Just so that you are under the weather, which is no fun having some chicken broth. Chicken broth's great, though, so hopefully, hopefully that's helping. All right, I got so many brushes on my lap. I need to get rid of some of these. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Cleaning up so that way I can give my eyes my full attention. So I'm gonna be working with palette number one. This is the magic one today, guys. And I know a lot of you have palette number one. It is the one that I recommend every woman have. It's just super versatile. It works with every single eye color. Um, I just think it's a great palette because you can really downplay it for a neutral eye look and you can also make it really glam. You just got victorious. Yes. Awesome, Tanya. Awesome. Okay, tell me about this dip, Paula. You see there's avocados, tomatoes, green peppers, green onions, all chopped up and mixed in cheddar cheese, red taco sauce, and you have it with chips. I am salivating. <laughs> That speaks to my heart. That speaks to my heart. Yes, Kristen, yes, girl. So we're gonna start yeah. things off with Chipper. I'm just gonna use Chipper. You guys know I love me some Chipper with my fluffy blending brush. Every woman needs, if you're gonna do eye makeup with shadows, I want you to think about getting a blending brush, right? So, transition shade, once again, it is like, see where my eye crease is, where my eye crease is? It's kind of the crease area and around it. I don't have a ton of room below my crease, so I often play a little bit more above my crease. Each eye is different, but a transition shade needs to be a more light shade. I like to hold my brush on the, the back half because you can see Chipper's a little dark for a transition shade. And just light and fluffy. 
And what it's going to do is it's going to create a great base. When you do a smoky eye or a dramatic eye, you really want to start off with your lighter shades first. You don't start off with a crazy dark color. You actually want to use as little of that as possible. You want to build with your lighter shades to create that smoky look, to create that dramatic look. And then you add just a little pop of the dark and all of a sudden that's how the magic happens. So when you do a eye, once again, that is dramatic, actually work with your lighter colors first. Build the base with them and then you can add the accent of the darker color. So that's what we're doing with our transition shade. So I'll just come on in so you can see a little better. See how it's like you can barely see it? It just adds a little bit of warmth, a little bit of depth. And the great thing with transition shades is that if you suddenly have to run out the door, mailman comes, kids are running around, if you have your transition shade on, you already look like you got some eye makeup on. You're good to go. After when you start adding some more, then you're dedicated. Then you, you better hold on tight because you have to finish. But just with the transition shade, just that alone, pretty. Adds depth, just like contouring. I guess that's kind of what transition shade is. Is it a little bit like contouring? Hi, Tammy. What are you guys doing tonight? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you, Paula. Victorious. It's so good. Hi, Stephanie. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So I'm just blending right in here. Adding in that transition shade of Chipper. Right, Kristen? Oh my gosh, Victoria is so, so good. It's especially great if you're going to be doing a cat eye, or as I said, if you really want to just have a simple eye look, but really play up your lashes. Victoria's makes the lashes pop. It's fantastic for those of you who wear glasses, because then your eyes and your eyelids look a little bit brighter behind your glasses. It is a nude velvet. Oh. I cannot handle how... Velvet is the right word, Tanya, for the matte splurge cream shadows. They already have primer in them, the, the matte colors. They are so good. So you don't even need to add eye primer. And then it acts like your eye primer. You can put other shadows on top and your eyes are already primed. New Year's dinner and game night at your daughter's place. So what kind of games are you going to play? We just played that game, Watch Your Mouth, last night and it was hysterical. So see how pretty that is? Really simple, super light, super light. That's how a transition shade looks. But see how I like, I, it already looks nice. <laughs> like I could go out and be like, yep, I put a little eye makeup on. Fluffy brush is going to be what you need. So a lighter shade and a fluffy brush and just wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. Make Mr. Miyagi proud. Wax on, wax off. Feel free to share this video, guys, on your wall if any of your friends might want to see how to get ready. This is a great way for me to help spread the word about what I do. So I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. All right, let's go in now and finish the rest of the lid. So as I said, just this alone, it's fine. But now that I'm going to go in with a couple more shades, I'm dedicating. Scattergories and Chloe made a tuxedo cake for desserts. That is so cute. What does a tuxedo cake even look like? So I'm going in back with palette two. I'm going to take in Elated. It's just a matte neutral shade. I'm going to take it with my deluxe brush. And I'm going to highlight under my eyebrow. And then the inner corner. And a little bit on that lid. Very, very simple. See, just lightens it up a little bit. Once again, on the lid, inner eye, and under the brow. So by highlighting under the brow, you kind of give yourself a little eye lift. If you feel like your eyes are starting to sag a little bit with age, I don't see, add a little bit of highlighter. Makes all the magic happen. Go back in, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Take that same deluxe brush. Let's do minimal brushes today. I always thought it was better to wear less makeup with my glasses. Guess I've been... No, you could still wear less makeup. When I wear my glasses, my rule is to make sure I do my brows to the help frame. I think the brows are important no matter what. And then um, I sometimes like to rock a bold lip with glasses. But if you're trying to really help make your eyes pop, to have something um, matte behind it really helps as well. So I want to just add the slightest bit of definition on the outer third. So I'm going to go in with hmm, this one. 
zealous. But either of these shades will work. Actually, I could still even do chipper. Let me show you how I'm going to do a chipper. Two colors. I've actually had a few people be like, show me how to do something with two colors. So here you go, guys. Same color. I'm using a different brush. And I'm dabbing rather than waxing on, wax off. So by using a more dense brush and a patting technique, look how much darker that is than the rest of my eye. So I'm really just depositing that color on the outer portion of my eye, working it up to the brow, the brow bone. See? Look how different. It's the same color. Now I show how to add a picture. It's chocolate cake with white chocolate ganache frost <gasps> filling and milk chocolate. Oh my gosh. That sounds delicious, Tammy. You'll have to send me a picture later. You'll have to send me a picture and a message because I am so intrigued by this. It also sounds like it took many steps and much time. How much time did it take to make a tuxedo cake? You need to tell me. All right, Lottie. So I'm just dabbing rather than going back and forth. I'm dabbing, I'm doing a little, little buff, but a little circular. So when you do a circular motion, it keeps the color really pigmented and strong. When you do a windshield wiper foundation like that, it diffuses it more. So I'm just gonna diffuse it a little bit into my crease. But look at that, it's the same color guys as a transition shade but by using a different brush, I'm also holding it closer. So all those things I told you with the transition shade, I'm now doing the opposite. I'm doing more circular motion, I was patting it. I'm holding it closer because now I have a stronger grip. I'm having a stronger color. And I'm just going up. And it's really important to open your eyes when you're doing your eye makeup every once in a while because you know, you might have done all this, but then when you open your eyes, only a little bit shows. So open your eyes every once in a while. Take a look at what you're doing. Engage if you need to add a little bit more up on your brow bone. Hi, Leslie. Happy New Year. Hi, Donna. Happy New Year. I need all the brushes. The brushes make a huge difference. I'm going to go see a show. I'm going to go see a show with Blake tonight. We're going to go see the sequel to The Phantom of the Opera. Go back with that blending brush and just blend those two together a little bit. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Look it, I'm a mess. I'm just like... Brrr. That's the beauty with the blending brush. You don't even need to really know what you're doing. You just blend. When you blend, it just makes it pretty. See how simple? So it's lighter, a little darker. Transition, I highlight it under my brow. Mwah! Mwah. So easy. Happy New Year to you, Leslie. Happy New Year, friend. Okay, so that is essentially it for eyeshadow. I'm not going to under eye smoke. Um, was that easy for you? Do you like that? Because I know a lot of you have palette four. So it's literally chipper and elated. That's the only two colors that I used. And I used two different brushes. I used the blending brush big fluffy brush and I use the deluxe brush. Really attainable. Nice and easy and attainable. It's all about the blending. <laughs> I love the kid noise in the background. I know. Hashtag mom life. Mom life. And he's being quiet, believe it or not. That's like quiet for him. Felicity is still napping. What time is it, baby? Might need to wake Felicity up. Then again, we got a sitter for tonight, so she could stay up as long as she wants. Yeah, we might want to wake her up. Then again, when we wake her up, she's like Zool. Right, Blake? What's that, my love? When we wake Felicity up, she's like Zool. I know. <laughs> Need palette one big time. Need more mattes. Oh, palette one actually isn't all mattes. I'd say half of them are shimmers. So shimmer, 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 shimmer. But the I used two mattes today. I used chipper and elated. If you need more mattes, Tanya, you might even want to look at, at a, a personalized quad. But palette one is amazing. Palette one really is my jam. All right, I'm going to tight line under my eye. So tight lining is drawing on that, that pink skin right there that is below your eyelashes. You can do it just by being very careful and not poking yourself in the eye. I wanna say don't try this at home, but I do want you to try this at home. Hi, Nicole, happy new year. Now, why would anyone wanna stick a pencil near their eyeball, Mary? Why would you ever do this? Why would you ever tight line? Okay, so the reason that you tight line 
is because it's going to make the base of your lashes look dark and full. Let me show you what I mean. So see that little bit of skin right there? See all that skin? Versus here, it's nice and dark and thick. So it's going to make my lashes look thicker and fuller. Or you can just pick it up and gross out all your friends and family and draw it on. This is fantastic for those of you who want to make your lashes look bigger, you want to have your eyes look a little bit more dramatic, but you don't want to go in with a nice huge line on top of your eyes. So I'm a huge fan of tight lining the upper waterline to give your lashes a fuller effect. Oh, thank you, Allison. The blush color was, I think it's scan scandalous. Scandalous. Look at that. Oof. Such a good color. Such a good color. Why'd you like it? What, Reese? Who am I talking to? I'm talking to my friends, man. I'm talking to my friends. He's asking who I'm talking to. Oh, so the palettes, I'm not going to have like, it needs to be palette one. It'll be like, you get to choose which palette you want. I'm hoping I brought my eyelash, my um, eyebrow brush. If not, we're going to get a little interesting. Because I need to do my brows soon, guys. <laughs> Happy New Year's Eve to you too, Hillary. What are you doing? What are you up to right now? Found it. So, remember how I was talking about how awesome Palette One is? Guess what else you could do with Palette One? You can do your eyebrows. Say so you have lighter hair, do it with chipper. Say so you have darker hair, do it with forthright. Do you want to do my brows with this? I'm feeling like we should. Now, I do have my... Uh, brow obsession palette. This is the dark brunette, but look at the colors are pretty much the same. So we're gonna do this. You've been practicing tight line, love the look, but it's hard to get used to. It is. It's a little hard to get used to. Come on. It takes a little practice. So if you have crazy thick brows like me, get yourself the lash brush comb, and I'm going to comb through. This is gonna comb out the foundation or powder that you have in your brows. It's also gonna put them in the right shape. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Yolanda. Uh, do brows with shadow all the time, right? It's so easy. So, so easy. So I'm just going to take the angled side of the Brow Artist brush into forthright. Once again, just using palette number one because it's my favorite. And I'm going to go in and lightly fill in where my brows are graying, kind of disappearing thinning out and so I find the angled side to be a little bit fluffier deposits a bit more uh, like in a greater area than the flat side but the flat side is more precise now if you wanted to take your brow game up up a big notch I highly recommend getting the brow obsession palette um, it comes in three shades it comes in blonde, brunette, and then dark brunette slash black, which is mine. And you get two shades uh, to choose from. These are highlighters. So remember I was talking about highlighting underneath the brow. Ooh, look at that. Never mind, I wanna use this. Thank you very much. Yup, that's what I wanted. I might even go like this. You don't even need to get a different eyeshadow. Just get this brow palette. Boom, baby. Oh, yup, yup, that's what I needed. <laughs> How long do you think Epic stays good? Do you feel like going to change it out? You know, Tanya, I don't really know. I feel like it's been awesome. So, if you're feeling like, I mean, generally mascara has a shelf life of three months. And I always say when it starts to get a little wonky, when mascara gets a little wonky, stick it in your bra, stick it in the warm water. That helps loosen it up a little bit. Oh yeah, Tammy, I just used two different colors. I just used two colors from palette one. So definitely go back and watch. It's super easy. Um, super, super easy. All right. So I just filled in. You can see how it's, it's a little sparse here, and I just filled it in. Once again with palette number one. Palette number one is a must-have. A must-have. Any eye color. You can do your brows with it. There's mattes. There's shimmers. You can have like a daytime look, an evening look. Super easy, super, super easy. 
You find tight lining, lining your brows easier with your line. This brush, right, Taylor? It's so good. Hi. Wish you knew all your tricks. Oh, this is, I'm here so you can learn. I'm here for you to learn, my friend. And now I'm just going to flip and use the other side of the brush. I'm going to put it in chipper because I find that in the front part of your brow, your hairs are a little more sparse. Is it sparse or sparse? Sparse. Sparse. I said it right. Good. Um, so I like to use the lighter shade towards the front part. I'm just going to fill it in. See? Once again, all done with my eyeshadow palette. Palette one, guys. I'm telling you. Must have. Just like Epic Mascara. Must have. My kid is being hysterical. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So does that look good to you? Looks good to me. Looks good to me. And then I always brush my brows a little bit to make sure that the product shh is dispersed evenly and that they don't look too fake. Because I naturally have big brows anyway. Yay! <laughs> I love it too, Tanya. Thank you. All right, so put those puppies away. I'm going to get out my liquid dip draw eyeliner. You know what? Let's just stick with palette one. I'm going to show you another trick. I'm going to show you another trick because you're all about palette one right now and I'm all about palette one. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to line my eyes with palette one. I'm going to take a little bit of water that I'm drinking and <laughs> and just dip my brush into it, whatevs, whatevs, it's fine. And I'm gonna put it in that forthright, the color that I lined my eyes with. When you wet uh, your eye eyeshadows, it just changes the consistency a little bit. It's gonna go on really darkly pigmented and it's gonna stay super long. My palette one is next for sure. I need those browns for my blue eyes. Yes, you do. Oh my gosh, and the gold, Paula. All right, so if you're afraid of pencil eyeliners, if you're afraid of liquid eyeliners, I want you to think about getting this brush, the Brow Artist brush. Do your brows with it, and then you can line with it. All right, so I'm just going to have a lazy, drunk eye and dab along my upper lash line. And I'm just dabbing. Just dibby dibby dab. And then as I get closer to the inner portion of my eye, I actually go like right on my lashes. Glad you can make a video clean and got rid of all the makeup. Yay! So happy that you got rid of stuff. If I go to, sorry, um, Diana, if I go to your makeup, what should I get first? Ooh, that is a good question. Well, what kind of makeup do you like to wear? Do you like to wear mascara? Because if so, I always recommend people to try out the Epic Mascara. Um, if you like to bring out your eyes, if you like to do eyeshadows, I always recommend palette number one first. I have different types of foundations that I can talk to you about, so shoot me a message if you want some help with like concealer or foundation. But definitely the Epic Mascara. And then with lip products, it all comes down to if you want staying powder, power, if you want moisturizing. Shh, go play with daddy. I don't want to. I would love for you to. I love you dearly. Uh, palette 2 is awesome, Hillary. Uh, you really know how to enhance your energy. Oh my god. <laughs> Miyagi. Yeah. Oh my god. Right? It's so right, Tanya. This is the forgiving way to do eyeliner. This is the way to make your eyes stand out without it being like a super harsh line. You can just take your time with it. It's not intimidating like a liquid eyeliner. It's not like you're taking a big pencil to your face. And you just do little lines, and it almost already looks a little blended because it is a powder. It's not as strict and strong as a pencil. So for those of you who want to line your eyes, make them pop a little bit more, I'm telling you, get yourself this brush. It is the Brow Artist brush. You can use it on your brows, but also as a liner brush. Look at that huge difference from lining and once again I lined with forthright so I did the transition shade chipper I went in on my lid with elated I darkened right here with chipper and now I've lined with forthright I did my brows with forthright and then I did do a little highlighter from the brow obsession palette but if you wanted to highlight with this palette take brassy on your finger look at that OMG
got some glitter gold going on and pop that on oh oh right there that's called a happy new year happy new year baby look at that oh love it love it and you could easily wing it out too yes exactly to wing it out you just would flick it just a little flick I'll wing it I'll wing it right now just a little flick see just a little flicky flick right like that well I made it a little big but go back with that blending brush oh, where's the blending brush where is it when I need it not it I'm pulling out every single bloody brush except the one I need no nope, no nope. it's gonna be the last one always is right and it's like a little eraser hi Arwen So you just dip it into it there we go and you just kind of like stamp it exactly so if you don't want to use a liquid up oh, she's awake baby <laughs> there's the forgiving in action right there it is there it is hi Jessica how you doing baby city's awake oh, okay. little baby city I'm just gonna blend that brassy with a clean brush. Isn't that so nice? That brassy really picked up well. Oof. Nice and bright. Really bright into your eyes. All right, so did the brows, did the face, got to put on the mascara, and I have it right here. Didn't put it in my bra for you today. Sorry. But that's always my trick. Epic mascara. So Diana was just asking, like, Mary, I got rid of my old makeup. You know what? That is a great New Year's Eve res New Year's resolution is to get rid of your old makeup and old skincare. So here is the trick with mascara. If your mascara is over three months old, I want you to ditch it. I want you to ditch it, and I want you to try out my epic one-step mascara. This mascara. Do you see what it's already done? Do you see what has already? Done? I've just been touching it like briefly I don't need to curl my lashes anymore this wand is magical it curls and separates and lengthens my lashes all in one just one step epic mascara it's all you need so this is by far when people are like what makeup should I try out of yours I'm like this this mascara if you're using shadow for lining does it tend to stay on I have very oily skin and shadow sometimes melt off me um, I will tell you that liquid eyeliner will stay so much longer but if you've primed your eyes with eye primer and then you've wet the brush Tammy it should help it it should help it sometimes I actually think with like with oily eyes um, lining with a powder might even work better but it comes down if you prime everyone's eye composition is a little bit different should we get your mascara on Tuesday yes yes Kristen so excited for you so excited oh my god I'm just like so I haven't even redunked my wand this is just one coat of mascara what I tell everyone with your epic mascara is see how far you can make that one dunk go it's like when you're painting a wall you dip it into the paint can and then you don't just like dip and paint and then go for more no you dip paint and you see how far you can make that product go right Paula Tanya, yep, you girls know what's up. Look at that. Guys, this is no flippin' joke. One dunk. One dunk. Clump free. Beautiful. Amazing lashes. So I'm just going to go in and do my baby lashes underneath. And this brush is so nice and fine that it's fantastic for those little lower lashes because it doesn't get them all clumpy like other mascaras might. The, the curling process that it does, I don't even know. And it stays like that all day. They stay nice and curled. You don't have to worry about them falling down. You don't have to worry about them leaking on your face. It's just truly, it lives up to its name. It's epic. I don't know how else to better explain it. Look at that. I mean, out of control. Out of control. One coat of epic mascara gave me these results. If you don't have Epic Mascara, I'm serious. After seeing this video, I'm, I'm shocking myself right now. <laughs> so make sure you're in my VIP group. 
because tomorrow night something special is happening. So if you're not yet in my VIP group, search the hashtag Minute with Mary. Request to join to get in my VIP group because something very special is happening tomorrow at 8 p.m. Lining palette season beautifully. Yay! Right? Hillary knows. The lash serum is fantastic. All right, let's go. On. I just wanted to show you one more time. So here's the difference from above. Here's that difference. I just can't. I just look how beautifully it's like curled. It's like I'm wearing false lashes. There's nothing, nothing. And then, bow, out of control. Washes off with your regular face wash. Uh, ooh, tip that I love to tell people. Don't take your mascara out and then pump it to remove product. That actually just gets air inside your mascara. So I was saying before, great New Year's uh, resolution is to toss out your old makeup especially your mascara if your mascara is over three months old because that is how long mascara shelf life is no matter which brand of mascara you have i mean you're constantly touching your eye with it so if your mascara is over three months old i want you to think about trying this epic mascara and i have an amazing guarantee that if you don't love your product within two weeks of receiving it you can return it get 100 percent of your money back try it out for two weeks if you don't love it you get 100 percent of your money back that's never happened with my Epic. I can tell you, hands down, no one has ever sent their Epic back and gotten their money back. Nope. Nobody's doing that. Nobody's doing that. Now, let's say you try it out for more than two weeks. Any of my makeup, any of my skincare, within 90 days, if you don't love it, you can still exchange it for product credit. So, I really do. I have a phenomenal guarantee. I just want to make sure you guys love it because you're spending your good money on makeup. I believe you should spend good money on makeup. I believe you should spend good money on good shoes, on a good mattress, on good pair of jeans, on a good handbag, and good makeup and skincare because you put it on your face every day. People are going to the drugstore buying cheap stuff that they don't love. If you do not love your makeup, if you do not love your shoes, if you do not love your jeans, that's what you need to do this year. You go and get your staples and make sure that they're great. Make sure you love them because you're spending your good money on this. And if you keep buying crappy mascara that doesn't bring you joy, that doesn't make your eyes look flipping amazing, that doesn't curl and doesn't do everything for you, then what are you doing? What are you doing? Some other people will go out to the bar this weekend, tonight, and they will easily drop $100 on food, drinks, whatever, and yet they won't spend decent money on skincare and makeup that they wear every day. Mm -mm -mm. Not good. Not good. It's like what your mama would say. Get a good pair of jeans, get a good handbag, get a good pair of shoes, and invest in good quality skincare and makeup. This is naturally based. It's going to hang on all day. It's going to be so great. What outfit am I wearing tonight? I have no idea. No idea. Life essentials. Shirt. Huh? You should wear your new Rebel shirt. No, I'm not going to wear that to the show. Why not? Because I like to be fancy. It's sexy. Yes, Tanya, you end up spending the money anyway replacing it. It's so true. So, so true. So there we go. That is one coat of Epic. I might actually do a second coat just because it's drama. Because I'm going out tonight. Well, guess, let's do a second coat of it, right? Maybe I could do my 3D fiber lashes. Okay, so Epic by itself, so good. Amazing results. Curls your lashes. But... If you want to take the drama up a notch, you're going to want to get the Totally Pumped Duo, which is 3D Fiber Lashes plus the Epic Mascara. So the 3D Fiber Lashes are what got me into this business. I had never seen a mascara like this, and in case you can't tell, I love mascara. <laughs> so um, the gel and fibers, they are going to make your lashes so amazing, okay? They're going to take this to a whole new level. So. The gel goes first. It goes gel, fibers, gel. You could do this by itself, but I like to put it on top of Epic for date nights, for big time nights. This is when, for weddings, for experiences that like you might want to put false lashes on, this is when you do the Totally Pumped Duo. Or if you're just someone who wants to have amazingly long, epic, thick lashes, this is where it's at. So I am just painting on lightly on the outer half of my lashes, the transplanting gel. It, it's just like a regular mascara wand. There's nothing else to it. Just black transplanting gel, 3D fiber lashes transplanting gel. Then, going with the fibers. 
the fibers are like little micro hairs. I roll them in the back of my hand just to make sure that they stay on tight, spider monkeys. Close my eye and I put the wand right where I had been putting the gel. So the gel is sticky and those little hair-like fibers, those black fibers, are going to stick to the gel. I'm just using a very light touch and doing it on the outer half of my lashes. Sticking those fibers to those sticky lashes. Now if a couple of fibers fall off in this process on your face, don't worry, you can easily just brush them away. But look at that difference. So, Epic alone you were blown away, right? Then you add the 3D fiber lashes and it just takes it to this extreme length and thick volume. See here, it's beautiful, beautiful, but this, drama, drama, absolute drama. Investing in great stuff pays off in the long run. It's so true, Paula. Now, so I did gel and fibers here. I need to let that sit and settle for a little bit. So I'm gonna do gel and fibers on this side. So once again, I'm just gonna be touching the outer half of the lashes. And I do a little bit on the back. Outer half, just a light touch, just to really coat them and make sure that they get sticky so that the fibers can stick to it. Oh, I got a little bit on my eye. What do you do when you get mascara on your eye? You wait, you wait. You don't touch it, you just let it dry and I'm promising you, it is going to come off super easily. I actually love when I get mascara on my face during a live because it's real life and I show you how to get, get it off your face because I would hate for you to smudge it. So don't smudge it right away. Here's the fibers, roll them on the back of my hand and here we go. Get them all stuck to that gel, baby. This is the drama, this is the full out. It is New Year's Eve. Now I'm gonna have some glam eyes. But yeah, when you get mascara on your eyes, let it dry. Then you can go in with a clean Q-tip, with a clean eyeshadow brush, even with your fingernail, and you can easily just scrape it off, flick it off. But if you do it when it's wet, it's gonna be all sorts of messy on you. So, here are my fibers. Oof. So good, so good. It's awesome, it's just so pretty. If you only had an unlimited budget, I know, I know. Little by little, but that's it. When you invest in quality stuff, it's gonna last for a long time, like these eyeshadow palettes. I just showed you how you can use it as a liner, as a um, eyebrow filler. You know, when you buy quality stuff that lasts super long, it's, it, it makes you feel so different. And also, like the same thing with skincare, you take better care of your skin, you actually wear less makeup because your skin looks better already. So that's one of the things that I've loved ever since I've started using my skincare line, um, the, the Royalty Skincare line. It has made such a difference in my skin that frequently I feel like I can just go outside without wearing much makeup. So I just put gel on top of, I did gel and fibers, gel and fibers, and now I'm sealing it in with gel. You see how I got a couple little fibers underneath there? They just brush away. And then because I've sealed those in, they're gonna stay on tight all night. So I'll go in, I'm gonna seal with gel on this eye. Just like before, the outer half, gel fibers gel. That's what the 3D fiber lashes are all about, about extra length, extra drama, extra dark lashes. I love this. The Totally Pumped Duo is a 10% savings on my site. So if you go to my site, click on Eyes, and then Lash Sets, Totally Pumped Duo is the Epic Mascara with the 3D Fiber Lashes. Epic Mascara, every single day, I wear it. Curls them lashes, makes them look long and luscious and perfect. And then when I wanna have extra drama, I go in with the 3D Fiber Lashes. They're just so good. Now brush away any of the fibers that fell down. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get rid of that schmudge that I got right there. That little schmudge. Let's see what tool I wanna to use to get rid of it. Get a little clean brush. Do, do, do. Is that one clean? I'll clean off the deluxe brush and I'll go in and clean it. So you just kinda of like, let's see if this will do it. The deluxe brush is a little fluffy to do it. Might still be able to. Yeah, 
It did. See? Got it off. Easy. Easy breezy. Got a little right there, and you just go back and forth and get the mascara off. Love it. Yay! So that is the eye look. Let's finish up with some lips, shall we? So I exfoliated before. I'm going to be doing a ombre red, bold red lip, just like the picture that I had shown you guys. And I'm desperately looking for, um, I have like a lip brush. Now, you don't need a lip brush, but if you want your lips to be really, really exact, a lip brush definitely helps. Or I could just, I'll skip it. Am I going to skip it? Let me see if I can find it. Give me one more second. I'll just line my lips. We'll make this happen. Oh, my kids are all snuggled on the couch with Blake. So cute. So cute. Got to sharpen this pencil. So I'm doing a ombre bold red lip. And that's why I did a pretty basic eye, dramatic lashes, flawless face, and we're going to do a nice bold red lip. Super pumped. I really wish I could find my lip brush. Hmm. <gasps> nope, that's eyeliner. <laughs> it's the same size as my eyeliner. Oh well. I'll find it like tomorrow. Or is this it? Yay! Found it. Perfect. All right, let's get this lip popping. All right, so when you do your lips and you line them, I like to overline um, a little bit there. I might even make a little bit of a pout. I might make a little bit of a pout underneath there. I'm going to show you a little trick. You can contour your lips to make them look a little fuller. Remember I was using this uh, dark pressed powder earlier? You can actually create a shadow and just go right under your lip and it's going to make you look like you have a bit of a pout. contour right underneath there just like I contoured my nose there we go a little bit of a pout so you can if you want to overline your lips to make your pout look a little fuller I recommend doing it just on the center of your lip you can overline everything you want overlining scares me and Blake doesn't like it right he hates, he hates overlined lips do you hate overlined lips on everyone or just me on everybody. So since I'm going on a day night tonight, I want to do something that's pleasing to my husband so I won't be crazy overlining my lips. So I'm just taking this color Primal. It's just a true red lip liner. The lip liners are amazing. They are waterproof. They are budge proof. So what's going to happen is I'm going to really kind of outline my lip shape and I know that when I go have dinner later and when I'm out at the show, my lips are still going to look on fleek. On fleek. I always used to say, or is it not? Am I saying it right? What? On fleek? On I hope. Fleek. Yeah, is that right? Yep. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to just lightly start at the top of my Cupid's bow, overlining my Cupid's bow. Do you guys know what overlining means? See? Just a little bit, just like that. Oh, okay, all right, so overlining. Overlining means to like, frequently people do right like where they see the pink, but your lip actually goes like a little bit above the pink area sometimes. So you, you wanna find out like where your lip actually peaks. Like think of your lip like a mountain peak. Like where does it actually start to become lip? If you draw right on there, you're actually still drawing on your whole lip. But see how like it's only pink until here? The, my lip goes until there. See that? See how that's light? That still is my lip. So that's a little overlining. Does that make sense? So find out where your peak is and draw on the peak of your lips. You can go further than that. Hey Mara! You can overline more than that. But that is what I feel like is a comfortable overline when you're really just going to like the peaks of your lips. 
and then I don't overline at all on the inner portions of my lips especially because my honey doesn't like it which is okay it's okay here's what I'm gonna be like you know that would be interesting that would be interesting are you guys in New Hampshire already tomorrow or are you just home Now, I do like to color in the outer portion of my lips when I'm lining for a couple of reasons. I feel like often that um, kind of adds a little bit of depth and contour like I was talking about before. All right, here we go. Time to do the lower lip. I'm overlining the lower lip, going to the natural peak of the lip even though it is skin colored. Who's here? Your mom's here. My mom's here. Is it four? Yeah. Oops. All right, and then I'm gonna go in and not overline the outer, the inner portion, whatever this part is. <laughs> I'll tell her you said hi, Tammy. All right. So the great thing when you line your lips, once again, is you have your lip shape already put down. So if you're going to be reapplying some lipstick or lip gloss, you don't have to worry about like being super exact because your lip shape is already there. Now, the other thing I like to do is I like to contour my lips a little bit more. just to get some added depth. There you go. Hello. Contoured lips. You can overline then, Tanya. All right, so let's get this ombre on, shall we? I've got two liquid lipstick shades. I have Stoic, which is an amazing uh, deep brick red. It's gonna make your teeth look super white. And this is Sizzling, which is like a totally red red. All right, so let's get this party started. Ombre lip. I'm gonna start with Stoic on the outer portion of the lip. I'm gonna use my lip uh, brush, but you could just use the lip applicator itself. Add a little product on there. And I got a lot of product on here. Why did I say a little product and I got a lot of product? Crazy town. Don't need that much. A little goes a long way with these liquid lipsticks. These are going to be on my lips into 2018 for sure. Okay. So I'm going over that liner. following that line that I drew. On a brush, a good idea with Stoic or any of the brighter ones. Yeah, because when it's a darker color, when it's a more pigmented color, I just like to have the extra control that the lip brush has. At first when I saw people using a lip brush, I was like, how are you using a lip brush? But if you have shaky hands like I do, a lip brush is kind of nice. Yay! Perfect. Oh, really? Lip brush is where it's at, Tanya. Oh, really? That's cool. And especially with something like stoic, like you said. Hi, Ashley. Happy New Year, friend. So I'm just filling in. To create this ombre lip. Oh, <laughs> you, I do not look gorgeous right now, Ashley. You are kind. I look crazy. <laughs> I'm doing an ombre lip. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, guys. If you think any of your friends would have fun watching this, Please feel free to share. Sharing is caring. 
Maybe some of your friends want to know how to do a crazy ombre lip. Alright. So, that once again was stoic. I'm going to just do a little below. There you go. See? Stoic. You can see the vision. You can see the vision. This is the look that everyone said looked like Kendra. This is the Kendra look. All right. I'm going to wipe off that lip brush just on a towel because I'm going to have to shout that out later. Happy New Year, Gabriella! Yay! How many more hours for your New Year, my friend? How many more hours? AKA, where are you? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go in with Sizzlin. Oh, it's so pretty. Little goes a long way with the liquid lipsticks. Once again, just dipping it in. Here we go. My friends and I were debating whether we had to wear real pants to hang out with each other later. Mm. See, I'm going out. Blake and I are going out, so I need to wear real pants. And it's cold. If I don't wear real pants, I'm going to pay. Because I was like, oh, maybe I can wear leggings. Mm -mm. All right, so I'm just painting it on. Like slower and louder. Yes, exactly. Painting it on. Paint, paint, paint. Little goes a long way. And then the magic gets to happen. And the great thing is when you're doing an ombre lip is you can. Yeah. Kind of like adjust it a little bit. If you want it to be a little bit lighter or a little darker, you just add a little bit more. How does the contouring work then? It just like peeks out a little bit, Tammy. Lip contouring is super, super minimal. Uh, like it doesn't really show through unless it's like um, if I was wearing a really light color. It's minimal. Mmm, yay, Christina. You could rock an ombre lip. Friends don't need pants, right? Friends don't need pants. I like that. <laughs> so, then I'm just going to kind of take my brush and blend where they meet. You could use your finger. You could smush your lips together. Super easy. And then, I have one more trick. I have one more trick for your darlings. One more trick. You ready? I'm ready. First, you know how I was using this palette for everything? I did my brows with it. I did my eyes with it. You can also take a little bit of Brassy, which I did with this little pop right here, the little pippity pop. Oh, yes. Oh, I just did that. Mm -hmm. A little glam glam. Um, if you get like a little smudge of lipstick underneath and you can't cut it out of their nail, you can take concealer and clean it up with a tight concealer brush, with a lip brush, anything like that to just kind of clean up underneath. The other thing that I like to do is take um, a highlighter. Remember I was talking about a luminizer highlighter? And to really make your pout stand out, going with that luminizer. So I'm just using Benevolent. You can also use Brassy. Because you guys know I'm all about brassy tonight. And I'm gonna add some highlighter. Just kind of catches that light. Makes you feel a glamazon. A little on my nose, my little button nose. It's not a button nose, it's button schnoz. And I'm gonna dust a little on my cupid's bow. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't actually use bad, but if you do have lipstick, you can clean up with a concealer. So, what do you guys think? Am I set? Do I need to touch up with anything else? I'm feeling pretty confident about this look. I'm feeling like I'm ready for 2018. Let's take down my hair, because if Ashley's still here, I've been rocking some dry shampoo. My favorite thing, guys, is dry shampoo. Ooh, white balance. White balance is crazy. Yay! Oh no, I have set and spray. Don't you fret. Don't you fret, Tanya. I have some set and spray right here. 
Okay. Husband peeked in the phone and has requested ombre lips. And I, yes! <laughs> We're going to see the the sequel to The Phantom of the Opera. Maybe he gets his girl after all. Oh, perfect timing, it sounds like. Hey, hey, hey. I don't need a musical interlude. Excuse me. Hold on, piano man. <laughs> okay, so, ombre lip, I had a little brassy. Silencio, per favore, okay? Uno momento. Um, brassy, this is palette one. So once again, I used chipper as a transition. I used elated on my eye, I did a little brassy here. I used forthright to line my eye. I used eye shadow to align my eye. I used eye shadow to do my brows. I used eye shadow to, mm, 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 mwah, add that little holiday, little holiday glam. Forgot to buy the dry shampoo at Ulta. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, Ashley. The cherry one that you love. So I'm going to set with setting spray. I'm going to look like this till 2018. You guys feeling good about this? Yay! So ombre lip. Someone needs to try it out and then send me a picture. I cannot wait to hear what you think. For those of you who have palette one, I hope that you found this tutorial useful. Uh, palette One, honestly, it is my go-to palette. I did my brows, by, I added it to my lips, I did it as my liner, I did it as my shadow. I just used two colors for the shadows. It is awesome. You need to get this palette. Invest in good makeup in 2016. Yeah, Invest in good skincare in 2016. Invest in a good pair of jeans and a good pair of shoes. And if you have the money, a good mattress, okay? Because you need to sleep well every night. You'd spend so much time doing that. But seriously, if you're putting makeup on your face and you don't not love it, you need to be spending money on stuff that you love if you're putting on your face. So, so excited. Thank you guys for the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything that you need makeup related, let me know. Those of you who are in my VIP group, get excited for tomorrow night. If you're not yet in my VIP group, I want you to request to join. Search the hashtag MinuteWithMary.com. Happy New Year, guys. Not with MinuteWithMary.com. Search the hashtag MinuteWithMary here on Facebook and then request to join. My website is MinuteWithMary.com. If you request to join my VIP group, I got something super fun going on. January 1st, New Year's Day, 8 p.m. Eastern. Be there or be square. Yes, Tanya, have fun. Everybody, I will see you in 2018, hopefully with my hair all set. <laughs> Happy New Year. Bye.